All right, I've got a legislative update, a good news update for drug court people. I'm here at the Criminal Defense Attorneys Association Conference and Senate Bill 508, I think it is 508, 608, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. It's expanding drug court and drug court is already a good program, so making it available to more people is an even better situation. And so what the new law does, which takes effect soon, is it says, look, this used to be only for felony tr cases, right? Only felonies. And now this new bill says, hey, why can't we get misdemeanors in the game? So now we're getting misdemeanors into drug court, and that's a beautiful thing, especially for DUIs, right? I mean, come on. Not everybody has a DUI diversion, and to get into a DUI diversion can be really strict. So I'm opening up the, the drug court just makes sense for DUIs and other misdemeanors. Another beautiful thing is that it used to be you'd be disqualified from drug court if you had some sort of past. Convictions in your past would disqualify you. They've taken a lot of that out, and now a lot more people with bad priors can get into drug court and get their situation fixed. And that's a step in the right direction too. So the other thing is, a little tiny thing, is they took off the time limits on drug court because it used to be that the legislation said, look, y'all need to do at least a year of this program. And I think sometimes people only needed six months or nine months of treatment, but they had to keep them in longer. So the new law also says, hey, you don't have to stay in this program any longer than you need. If you only need six months of treatment, you get six months and they're allowed to drop your charge at that point. So great progress. This is a step in the right direction. We're finally going to see misdemeanors. We're finally going to see people with disqualifying prior offenses get into drug court. All of this is a step in the right direction.